These days, more Americans are in need of a little bit of help when it comes to putting food on the table than ever before. And numbers from the USDA show just that. Around 17 million Americans struggle with food insecurity. They can't access or afford healthy food. WRTV's Meredith Hackler learned local food banks are calling on the federal government to step up. I'm off work on short term and I'm, um, my pay is very bad and uh, just in need of some little bit of help. Teresa Herkamp is in a predicament like many Americans. She's worried about making ends meet and keeping food on the table. According to the USDA's recent food insecurity report, the number of people living with food insecurity increased by 31% when compared to 2021. For children, that rose 44%. Gleaner's Food Bank expects these numbers to be even higher this year. The support for people in need has gone down. The pandemic uh, era uh, support for uh, people through the child tax credit, expanded school lunch and so forth has gone away. The supply from USDA of surplus protein has gone away. And unfortunately, I think those numbers are going to get worse next time because those were for 2022 and around the country. A lot of that support was still in place. So it begs the question, what can be done for those facing food insecurity like her camp? She has some suggestions. I think they need to increase minimum wage uh, and provide more jobs to everyone. Um, no matter race, color, whatever. And uh, I just think the wages need to be increased at more places. As for gleaners, they say the federal government needs to take action. For every meal we provide um, folks, the federal government provides nine. So the federal government's really the driver of helping people not be food insecure. During the pandemic, it really stepped up. Now, uh, not so much, so we're hopeful that maybe um, policymakers can expand SNAP, expand WIC. Those have been shown to be highly effective ways uh, to help people eat. In Indianapolis, Meredith Hackler, WRTV. Well, Gleaner says it is preparing for the holidays, and while it doesn't have a shortage, it says the demand is up, but donations have not kept pace. Gleaner says that they're having to purchase more of the food they're giving away. And helping out today at Gleaners were members of the Colts organization. Tuesday is the team's community day each week when they have an opportunity to get out and serve in various ways. Leading the way in packing up boxes of much needed food was mascot blue, but also defensive end Quiddy Pay. He was born in Liberia and he said food was a struggle for his family growing up. Liberia, you know, faced a lot of food insecurities and you know, for me to do my part here and just to see how this works maybe inspiring me to do something like this back home in Liberia for sure. Joining him today and helping out was his mom. She is just to his left here in this video. She's visiting from Rhode Island, her first trip to Indiana. Welcome. Yeah, a little family teamwork there. 